Welcome to the Builder. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Builder to create your own chatbot. And I'm going to give you a brief overview on how each of the sections in the Builder works. So I'm going to start off from the left side uh, in the navigation bar. You can access the Builder, which is now called Automation, from this tab. Once you click over here, you're going to be redirected to the Builder section. And using the Builder section, you can create your own chatbot. So first of all, what you have to do, as we've shown in the previous videos, you have to create and connect your own channels. And you can find those channels over here in the top left corner. Ensure that you're selecting the correct channel. Since I have many channels connected to my project, I'm going to be showing you this uh, video in the video tutorials section. So I go to this channel, I select it. And first of all, you'll see the welcome message and the default sequence over here. And the welcome message is basically the message which is sent to any customer or any user coming into your platform and trying to communicate with you. And the default sequence is basically when your chatbot doesn't understand anything, um, the default se sequence is triggered. Uh, what we do by default is uh, we keep a ticket block over here, and I'm going to go over the blocks shortly. However, uh, whenever you have a ticket block in the default sequence, I, and for instance, if your chatbot doesn't understand anything, and if there's a ticket block, the message that the customer or the user is sending to your uh, platform is going to be redirected into the inbox. And from there, you can manually cater to the customer's query. Um, so that goes um, for any other sequence which has a ticket block in it. And um, I'll show you how you can create a new sequence as well. And you can do that from this section where you can add a new sequence. I have already made two sequences prior to the demo. However, I'm going to show you how you can add a new sequence. So new sequence for a demo. Just put in the name and it's going to come over here. You can later rename it or delete the sequence. And now I'm going to go over how you can create your own chatbot and show you a few things before I show the more advanced sections in the next videos. So um, in the middle part, you can see that uh, you have an empty space. And over here, you can basically um, click and insert blocks from the right-hand section. On the right-hand section, you'll have the block list. And uh, in, in, initially, you'll see that there are a few blocks over here. However, you can access all of the blocks by clicking on show more blocks at the bottom of the list. And you'll see add and send content blocks. You collect user information blocks and action blocks. And we'll go over each of these in the next videos. However, um, these are quite important and these have different functionalities. So in case of this tutorial, I'll just add a text block. And if I say um, this is a video tutorial, and save it, and uh, it's going to be saved. You can also minimize it and maximize it in case you want to um, see less content over here. You can also copy the block to a different sequence. You can also move it to a different sequence. You can also delete the block. And uh, I'm going to add another block over here, which is going to be an image block. And if I choose, I can upload an image by clicking over here. So let's say, for instance, I'm not going to use this image block. I'm just going to keep it here for now. I'm just going to show you how you can drag and drop to rearrange each of the blocks uh, in, your, uh, in the middle section. So all you have to do is click on the left side, and then you can drag and drop. And each of these blocks will be uh, triggered chronologically when your customer is coming into the platform. So the final thing that I'm going to show you in this video is going to be rules. So each of these sequences can be connected to a trigger or a rule. And you can access them from here. By clicking on the rules, user rules, you'll be able to see uh, which new rules you can add. So for instance, I add a new rule. And this is a messenger channel. And I have a keyword video. So anyone who's coming into your platform and talk and says, video this whole sequence will be triggered for that customer so this sequence will be sent to that customer uh, and they'll be able to see all these blocks in it i'll be talking about rules in details further on where we'll, i'll show you how you can connect your nlp and then use your uh, platform so that automated messages can be sent like that thank you for watching this video i hope you it gives you an idea uh, see you in the next one